Hey guys, my name is the Electrified Gamer. Welcome back to the Sonic Boom Commentary. That is a incorrect lie, but welcome back to the Sonic Boom Let's Play. In this glorious of parts, we will be hopefully continuing our adventure. I don't know how much longer we have in this game. I'm only at 45% of this game. I am like in the biggest Dark Souls mood right now. I literally played an hour and 30 minutes of that thing for a recording session. But that is perfectly fine. It is fine to play Dark Souls for that amount of time, but we're back to Sonic Boom. We gotta complete this game so we can start other Let's Plays. But anyway, let's go talk to this girl, because she probably will talk to us now. You know what? This town is on the brink of disaster, and nobody is doing anything about it. Lyric and his forces are growing closer, and all anyone cares about is the re-election of Mayor Fink, who is running unopposed. We are going to stop him. Sorry. I never count on anyone but myself to take on that rusted worm. I've been the only one who prepared for him. My family has been protecting us for decades. We are the only ones that do anything. Well, we're here. We want to help. Okay, but you've got to earn my respect. Around the beaches are ancient monuments with island defense measures. If you can figure out how to energize the monuments, the balloons will launch and strengthen our defenses. You do that, I know you're fighting on the right side and willing to help the cause. You got it? We're on it. That is such a random thing to do. Okay, so we have to now, we have to activate the seaside defenses, but right now we're in Sonic Boom territory. We're not longer in Dark Souls territory, so we don't have to be so cautious about everything anymore, which is awesome. I'm trying not to use the word fantastic more than three times. The funny thing about the Dark Souls thing is, like, I got, like, 30 minutes in, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I don't, I still don't feel very good, and I'm like, oh, I'm still half awake, and I can barely talk right now. And then it got into, like, the, like, 40-minute mark, and I'm like, okay, ooh, got that Dark Soul, got that Dark Soul adrenaline coursing through my veins. It's like, it's like a breath of fresh air. Let's switch to Amy. I don't know why the camera is so... So, like, focus in the back of the characters, but anyway, we need to check the map real quick to see where we're going. Okay, we're heading back outside to the beaches, so let's go that way. I think we're getting pretty close to the, the end of Sonic Boom. I'm still not entirely sure. Like I said, this is my first time actually playing this game, so what does the mayor have to ask? Yeah, whatever. I, s has a temper. I swear, it's the same person who does Dr. Eggman's voice. I should have activated that wire up there because that would have gotten me back outside a lot faster, but... Man, this game is pretty ugly compared to Dark Souls. It's like... It's like... It's like... It's like taking drugs for the first time. It's like Dark Souls would have rush. Okay, can I activate this one? Yes, I can. I have plenty of money to do this. My door is completely open. Oh yeah, I've done this one. I've done this one because I remember I recorded a little bit of it and then like halfway through the audio, not the audio, it was me. I was like, I'm not really feeling this recording session and I'm like, I'm done. Anyway, there's another shiny thing we can give to sticks if we do get all of them. Like I said before, there's probably no reason to get 100% in this game. It's probably, it's probably arbitrary and you probably get nothing. You probably get that one costume for Amy that makes her, what if you got like costumes to make the characters look like their old selves? That would be cool. So Knuckles wouldn't even look like look like the buff buffles buck bleh, buff buffles the hedgehog. That's not right. I'm worried about my gigabytes because that Dark Souls recording session literally took up like took up like a hundred gigabytes. This is why you don't record with fraps. You never record with fraps because it takes up so much space on your hard drive. Good thing I have a backup hard drive because if I had if I recorded that with um my normal hard drive, it would have been like it would have been like up. Oh, you're out of space. Can't record anymore. It's like dang it. I still am trying to record the final session of the Water Temple. I think that's going to be the running joke from here on out. That's going to be the running joke throughout all my commentaries today. When am I going to record the Water Temple session? When am I going to record it? When am I... Not when am I going to record it. I have it recorded. When am I going to record the audio for it so I can just edit through it real quick? Because I literally have all of Ocarina done. I just have nothing... I have none of the, I have none of the, what do you call it? I have none of the, I have none of it edited through yet. None of it edited through, and then I have, I have none of, I have all the way up to Ganon's Tower, what I meant to say, and I have none of it edited. That's what I meant to say, because I can't talk right. I can never talk. Welcome to the Electrified Gamer Show, where the Electrified Gamer can and cannot talk. I'm all the way back this way now. I have to find a way to the beach. That was... That was a fun little section. No, it wasn't. 
That was a fun little section, wasn't it? Um, a voice in my head? No, it wasn't. That was not a fun section. Why would you say such a thing? You know, voice in my head, you're the only person I can trust. Yes, I know. We are the only ones who can talk to one another. Thanks, f thanks, I about to say future me. <laughs> thanks, person. Future me is almost like the guy in my head. I'm just kidding, I don't have a person in my head. That's like that Harley Quinn joke in the in the Suicide Squad trailer where it's like, What? What? You want me to kill everyone here? <laughs> Sorry, that's not what the voices actually said. I'm like Randy Orton. I hear voices in my head. I'm just singing so much today. Up oh, down the tunnel we go and we get we get parts. Man, I'm just doing a lot of exploring right now. I don't know why. Up, oh, gotta get that. Gotta get the crown because they offer us upgrades and nice artificial intelligent pieces. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Let's head outside before I go even more insane. I want to hear the amazing dialogue between the characters, and by that I mean I wanna I wanna get this story train of moving. I like how there was always an objective marker early on in the game, but now it just seemed to like disappear randomly. Okay, uh, map, map. Where am I going? I'm heading out that way. Makes sense. Like I said, the objective marker completely disappeared on us. I don't know where it's gone, and the frame rate is tanking. The frame rate doesn't know what it's doing anymore. It's just like, eh, yeah, whatever. The frame rate is gone. I repeat. I repeat, the frame rate is gone. The frame rate is dawn. The, the dawn? The frame rate is dong. If I don't have the purple crystal yet. I don't think I do. If I do, that'd be nice. I don't think I have it yet. Let me go check. No, I do not have the purple crystal. So, I think I need to head down to the ocean area. I think that's the next stage in this game. I think that is the next level. Sometimes you wish the game... It's just kind of weird. It's just like a, it's like we added the objective marker to tell you where to go. And then, like, I think it's like ever since I got to this area, the objective marker has, like, not even been here to tell me where to go. The point is to keep me on track. The point of an objective marker, in my opinion, is to keep the player on track. And if they find stuff on their way, then it's supposed to, like, sidetrack them, you know? That didn't make any sense. It's supposed to be like, hey, this is where you're going. But, hey, if you need, if you want to, like, make a little detour here or there, it's like, that's fine, too. Okay, I think this is the area where we activate the defenses, so let me switch to Sanic. Let me switch to good old Sonic? Okay. Sonic, go do your thing. So I was about to say, did I record? Alright, let's activate these turret defenses. That good old splishy splashy sound effect. That good old, like, in the bathtub, splashing around with a rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. He's the... I can't believe I just said that. I just sang the rubber ducky song. Okay. Obviously, none of the defenses are active, so let's head over here and see if this is, has something to do with it. Yeah, this probably has. Is somebody drowning? Is, is somebody drowning? Oh, there's a sticks thing here, so I should get that. I said I should get that. I was about to say, where did I go there? I was like hovering in midair for a little bit. Alright, this thing. What does this do? It activates a button. I should have probably switched to Amy. Oh, we're supposed to switch it along and then like climb up it and then like hit all the buttons. Am I? You know what, Amy? This is your this is your kind of job. So let's get this done. I'm pretty sure this will activate the defenses. Hopefully. Yep. There's another button. I have to activate all the buttons and then hit all the buttons and then become the button queen. Yes, I'm becoming the queen of buttons. Wait a minute. You're not a girl. <laughs> as far as you know. Hey, this could be, like, the best voice actor ever. Actually, it wouldn't matter if I was the vo best voice actor ever. Normally, a girl cannot do a... Like, you don't you don't see, like... I was about to say Jennifer Hale. That's not right, is it? Oh, that's one of the defenses, I guess. Are they all around this area? Oh, yeah, they are. So, I was about to say, where are all these things? That's the next area we have to go to inside that, like, Ocean Palace area. The sand is not very good at texture. I've done better textures than this. I literally spent like, I literally spent like an hour trying to figure out how to texture something, and then like I learned that I didn't have the. T the t <laughs> I didn't. I was spending like a couple hours, not, not an hour. I spent like 30 minutes, and I'm like, how do you texture this thing I was making? Uh, future me put up a put up a put up the picture of the thing I was making in Maya, but I literally had that up, and then I was like. How do you texture this thing? It's like none of the textures are appearing. And then I literally clicked one of the buttons at the top and it was like, there's the textures for it. I'm like, 
I feel like the biggest idiot right now. All yesterday, I was like, I'm the biggest freaking idiot that I've ever known because it took me like this long to figure out how to get the textures in. That didn't even happen because the textures, the textures were all in black and white, and I still was like mentally confused. I was like, what am I doing wrong? And then I'm like, you know what? I'll just model the entire building and then I'll just submit that because I'm like, uh. I'll try and figure out, I'll ask the, I'll ask my teacher later, like, what is wrong with my textures, because they're not appearing correctly, and then he'll probably be like, oh, you didn't have this checked, and I'll be like, oh my gosh. I always feel like an idiot, but my teachers are awesome, because I, I was literally like, this is a stupid question, miss. I literally asked one of my teachers, I'm like, I have the dumbest question ever, it was like about coding and stuff like that, she's like, there's no such thing as a stupid question, and I'm like, that's why I love you guys. I think when a teacher tells you that, you're like, you're my kind of teacher. You know, a teacher who not necessarily challenges you, but like treats you as a person, not like, oh, you're a student, I'm going to do whatever I can, it treats you as like, hey, you need help? Sure. It treats you as like a, you know, a person. I got a bunch of teachers in high school, even though I hated high school, that were like that, and I'm like, I have more respect for you than I will have for, like, a teacher who, like, looks down on you and's like, uh, you better do your assignments or whatever. You do your assignments, that's all you're good for, get out of here, we don't want you here. It's like, then what's my, what's the point of me being here? You're not, you're not helping the cause, you're not helping me become a better person. That's the point of school, not to smoke weed, like the kids do these days. I think my, my whole, my whole, ugh, there we go. That's the last defense. That is the last defense system that is up and running. That reminds me of Jack and Dexter. I guess I'll, I'll return to her later because I think I just want to get to the next level already. Besides me talking about school and stuff, I do do modeling sometimes. I do model. I do. Here's a picture of me modeling. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? I like how I use a server bot helmet as my face. That is my face. That is what I am dressed up like every day in my life. Is that the dog? My door is open. So, like I said in the Dark Souls commentary, the dog is free. I just don't know where she's at. She's probably laying on the couch waiting for my sister to get home. Because that is normally what she does. I also talk very loud when I do commentaries. I'm also mad because I forgot to mention this, and I think I mentioned it in the in the beginning episode of Twilight Princess that got messed up. But I was working on Undertale. I was working. I was trying to get rid of stuff on my other hard drive, my recording session hard drive. And what happened was I saw one of the Undertale sessions. And I'm like, oh, that's an older session. I deleted it. And then I'm like, and then like once I emptied my recycling bin and everything, I'm like. That was the session I still had it edited through, right? Yep, it was. I'm like, crap. And I'm like, I'm fine with going through it again. I'm fine with going through all of Undertale again. I'm fine with going through Undertale again. But I just mean, it just kind of like ruins you a little bit. You're like, huh, there goes that hard work. I didn't even think that session was very good to think about it. You gotta look at the positives, you know. You may have messed up the session, but you gotta look at the pa- Oh, I almost missed that platform. This is like some old-school classic platforming right here. Do I really need Sonic? Why did I bring Amy all the way here if I needed Sonic? I'm glad the game tells you that right when you get here. It's like, oh yeah, you need Sonic, by the way. It's like, great, thanks for telling me earlier. Thanks for telling me all of five seconds ago. Thanks, you should have told me that when I- You should have been like, this is a Sonic and whoever else section. I never liked the homing attack in this game because it rarely works half the time. So let's do the homing attack. I forgot that Sonic can do the homing. That's not it. Boom. 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 It's just like he's just hitting buttons. That's no fun. It's old school classic platforming action. Eep. Sonic can't swim. Sonic can't swim. Alright, get the chest. Welcome to the Electrified Commentaries, where he provides in provides intellectual commentary on the matters at hand. So it's like, it's like, yep, okay, do a jump, do a jump, oh, do a jump, ah, grand slam, yes, do a jump, yes, another jump. There we go. Go to the ocean purification plant. The next level in the game. I don't know how much I'm going to record of this, because I'm at 776 gigabytes. This is the place. I'll go down to get the crystal. Sonic and I will go get the crystal. Knuckles and Tails, you stay back in case the village is attacked again. Who put you in charge? I say Tails and I will stay back and protect the village, and you and Sonic take the elevator. 
You win this round, Knuckles. Amy, let's go. <laughs> oh, Knuckles, you sassy son of a gun. Look at him with his hand on his hip. He is a sassy mofo. I love Knuckles in this game. He's amazing. I love Knuckles and Sonic Boom. I love Roger Craig Smith as Sonic. I can't hear any... I can't hear, like, Jason Griffin or whoever it was as Sonic anymore. I can only hear, like... Uh... Who... What's his name? I just said his name. I can only hear Roger Craig Smith, like, doing his, like, sassy Sonic voice. He's like, whatever, Knuckles. Like, no, Sonic's voice in this game is kind of like... I'm Sonic. I'm the fastest thing alive. If you don't think I know that, like, he has, like, that cockiness to him. Or he's like, I know who I am. And you people are my friends, I guess. It's just like, whatever. Wow. What is this place? How do you just keep appearing out of nowhere? Because I am awesome. And I fit into vents. I was created here, programmed here. Hey, the crystal. It's right there. So close. It's right by the entrance. That never happens. 